we just want to be with you today. Lord, we say thank you for your glory. Come on, can we lift up the glory? Come on, can we give God some glory this morning? Give God glory. Can we lift up our hands in worship? I would ask that everyone that is in the house that can stand, please stand and give God glory. Hallelujah. Lord, we glorify you. Can we give them the highest praise? Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Lord, we give you glory. We give you glory. It's not for nothing that we give you glory. Lord, you bless us over and over and over again. And God, we're so grateful for the way you bless us. And we thank you for allowing us to receive your blessings through faith. And we thank you for the favor that you've given us today, God. Yes, God. We thank you for the favor. We declare that the favor of God is upon you. I declare by faith that the favor of God is upon your life. I declare by faith that the favor of God is, is on your children's life. I declare by faith that the favor of God is on your children's children's life. Upon your family. We bless you in the name of Jesus. You are blessed in the city. Come on, receive the blessing of the Lord. You are blessed coming in. You are blessed going out. We declare the blessing of the Lord upon you. And Lord, we say thank you for blessing us. We thank you for sending it by faith. Because of your favor. And we receive it. And Lord, we say thank you. Can we bless the Lord one more time this morning? God is good. All the time, God is so good, God is so faithful. When I look back over my life, all I see is the faithfulness of God. God has been so good, He's so faithful. And I just want to say thank you. Is anybody grateful to God this morning? Are you grateful for God that He woke you up this morning? Are you grateful to God that He started you on your way? Are you grateful to God that you're in your right mind this morning? Are you grateful to God that you have an attitude of gratitude this morning? That you can open your mouth and shout, thank you, Jesus. Come on, can somebody shout, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Can you think about faith? Even if you're going through a hard time right now, can you just think about faith and say, Lord, I thank you by faith, God. I thank you for the favor that I'm that's, that's surrounding me right now, God. I don't see it, but I know I'm surrounded by your favor. And Lord, I say thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your faith and your favor. Well, we want to welcome you here. You may have your seats in God's presence. We want to welcome you here to Living Word Fellowship Church where God is connecting ordinary people. We're, help to, we're connecting ordinary people to an extraordinary God so God can maximize the power and the potential that he's placed down on the inside of you. God has placed so much power down in you, so much potential down on the inside of you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are fabulous because of what God has deposited in you. Listen, it's, it's, it's because of the favor that's on your life that God has placed so much in you. And he wants to pull it out of you so that you can give him even more glory. Give him glory. And that's what we want to talk about today. About all the power and the potential that God has placed on the inside of you. In the season of, of Thanksgiving. Can we just thank, thank God again? Come on, can we clap our hands and tell God thank you. Thank you if you're grateful to God this morning. Just tell him thank you. Thank you for Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is so good. We want to look at our scripture in Luke the first, the, the fifth chapter. I'm sorry. We want to go to Luke the first chapter, 26 verse. And I realize that this is, is not quite Christmas yet. But we've only got about six weeks before 2020 is over. And we declare in January that God's grace is changing everything. That God's grace is changing everything. And we 
still stand on the word of God that brings us change in everything. And we declare by faith that before 2020 is over, that God is going to turn everything around. God is going to turn everything around in your life. Before this year is over, God is going to turn that situation around in your life. Do you believe it? Do you receive God's word today? You have to receive it by faith. Luke, the first chapter, beginning at verse 1, the Bible says, In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings. You are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Listen, you can put your name right in here. God said, don't be afraid. You have found favor with God. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son and you are to call him Jesus. He will be, watch this, great and will be called the son of the most high. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Verse 36, even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. And she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. Amen. Lord, we thank you that your word is blessed. Can we come and bless God for his word again? We thank God that his word is blessed. No word from God will, will ever fail. I want us to realize that we are surrounded by God's favor all the time. Yeah. And it takes yeah. faith in this season to realize that you are uh, walking in favor, walking in God's divine favor. Yeah. I'm gonna keep saying that yeah. until the faith kicks in and you believe, not only believe, but receive the favor of God, the favor that God has on your life. Because see, the problem comes into place with God's favor is because we, tend to look for favor in all the wrong places. We're not going to find favor where we think to find favor. See, because we're looking for favor to be in places where everything is going good in our life. We're looking for favor for all our bills to be paid and then we have favor. We're looking for favor when our relationships are at their best and everybody's get along fine. We're looking for favor when everything is going good on our job. We're looking for favor in our church when everybody is getting along and even coming to church. And we think that that's favor. Uh, but actually favor, when you're looking for favor, you can find favor in the most unlikely places. You can find favor in the most unpredictable places. Uh, that's why we talked about Ruth on last week because Ruth found favor and she found favor in the field. But you have to understand that, that, that everybody, just like Ruth, uh, all women anyway, since we're talking about Ruth, uh, want their Boaz. But you have to understand this. Watch this. Uh, you have to understand that, uh, that, that before she got her Boaz, she had to lose her uh, Malion. Listen, that, 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 and what God is saying, watch this, watch this, watch this. God is saying that before you can get your next man, you may have to lose your current man. I, I know that doesn't preach real good, but I'm trying to understand, trying to make you understand where you will find favor. We're looking for favor in all the wrong places. And I want you to understand that in the midst of what we're going through, in the midst of the problems, in the midst of the pain, 
often is the place where you will have to declare by faith that I have favor, that I'm favored by God. I'm favored by God. See, 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 it was until, see, Joseph did not find God's favor in the palace until after he was thrown in the pit by his brothers. Y'all understand this. Uh, God says, for no word will ever fail. And, 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 and God is a man of his, he cannot lie. And we have to understand that when God says that we have found favor, then that, that we have to believe by faith that we're walking in favor, that we're surrounded by favor. Yeah. See, see, it was at the wedding where Jesus performed his first miracle. And, and we all want Jesus to come to our wedding, uh, but we don't want to run out of wine. See, I want you to understand that even though you're walking and you're surrounded in favor, surrounded by favor, and you're walking in favor, sometimes the situations or the circumstances won't look favorable. And you have to get that. You have to understand that. Here you have Mary, and the Bible says that, that the angel Gabriel came to Mary, and he came to her uh, in the city of Nazareth. In the city of Nazareth. The Bible says, can anything good come out of Nazareth because Nazareth was such an awful city that that, that, that that somebody even said can anything good come out of Nazareth and that's the place uh, where God decided uh, to be born that's the place where where the good news came to Mary from the from the angel Gabriel to a, in a city called Nazareth. Can anything good come from Nazareth? Listen, man, a lot of us feel like that sometimes. Can anything good come from the city where I'm from? But see, but see, Jesus came to answer that question by, by being born in Nazareth. Nazareth. He said, well, no, the answer is no. Not only can, some, can something good come from Nazareth, something great can come from Nazareth. Listen, listen, listen. God wants us to stop looking for something good when, when he has great plan for us. Listen, listen. I know that we got good things all lined up and that our all our priorities and uh, are set up on good things that we're believing God for the good news but listen God has a great plan for your life he wants you to start expecting great things he wants you to start he wants you to increase your expectancy for great things even in a bad season God wants us to have expectancy Amen. he came to Nazareth and told Mary, now watch this, he, he, he picked, God picked Mary. Uh, I want you to understand Mary. Um, yes, she was a young girl. Yes, she was, you can say, a godly girl. But God did not pick Mary because she was a, a good girl, uh, a good woman. God did not pick her because she had good character or good moral character. No, even though that can be said of Mary, no, God chose Mary because she was favored by God. Listen, you have to understand that just because you're favored by God is good enough reason for God to bless you. It's because of the favor of God. You are favored. Watch this. The Bible didn't say that, that, that she was favored above women. The Bible said that she was favored among women. And we have to understand that, 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 that God's favor, that God chose you and God's favor is on you no matter what is happening. No matter what is going on, what's the situation, he wants you to expect. Does anybody have any expectancy in here? Listen, you have you expect anything great from God in a season that doesn't look so great. Even though the situation doesn't look great, you're expecting, still expecting not just good things, but great things from God. Somebody shout favor. Favor. See, yes, Mary was favored by God. But along with that favor, demand, along with the favor from Mary, see, came ridicule. You have to understand that, that Mary was pregnant when she was about 12 years old. And you have to understand that she was a virgin. So that means that, 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 that she was pregnant and had not been with the man. And that was hard for people to believe. So here comes ridicule. So even though she was favored, yes, she was favored, but yes, she was talked about. Yes, she was favored, but yes, she had people to, uh, her, her, had her name dragged through the mud. Yes, she was favored, but along with that favor came a lot of other things. And I'm trying to get you to see that even though you're going through some stuff, God's favor is with you. And just because you're going through some stuff, don't think that you're not favored by God. Listen, God chose her because she favored her. I don't want you to think that just because, just because you're in the season that you're in, that God's favor is not with you. Somebody shout on favor. Favor. 
favored. I don't want you to think that just because you're not married that you're not favored. I don't want you to believe that just because you had a, a baby out of wedlock that you don't have God's favor. I don't want you to think that God's favor is not in you, it's not surrounding you just because of your situation. Listen, yes, I have a baby. Yes, I may have broken God's covenant, but God didn't break his promise of having his favor on my life. I'm walking in favor. I don't care what you say about me. I don't care what how much you talk about me and turn your back on me. I know that I'm walking in the favor of God. I know that God's favor is surrounding me. Talk about me all you want. And you know, women, you know how we are sometimes. That's why God gave her a witness with her, her cousin Elizabeth. Here's, here's Elizabeth. She goes to Elizabeth. And, and when she gets to Elizabeth, she finds Elizabeth, who was in her sixth month of, of pregnancy. And what happened when, when Mary got, got near Elizabeth, the Bible says that the baby in her leap, it leap, it's because they both had expectancy. See, see, because of what Mary had on the inside of her caused what Elizabeth had on the inside of her to leap. Listen, listen, because of what she had in her, it, it caused the help to develop what she, the, what the other person had in her. Since, and, and that is so hard in this season where, where, where there's so much competition, there's so much comparison, and there's so much jealousy where, where you're looking at what I have in me and, 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 and so worried about what I have in me that you can't see what God has in you. Listen, away with the spirit of comparison, away with the spirit of jealousy and envy where you look at someone, somebody and say, um, mm. She thinks she all that. Listen, away with that. Listen, as, as soon as Elizabeth and Mary came together, what was on the inside of Elizabeth leaped. Because they came together and there was such expectancy. And that's what caused, that's what, how faith grows. Is when expectancy gets with more expectancy, it will cause, it will cause your faith to grow. In this season, we need one another, ladies. We need one another. Listen, I come against the spirit of comparison where, where, where you're so worried about um, on the things on the outside. Because y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. Listen, listen, we're worried about who's got the longest hair, who's the cutest, who's the prettiest, who's got the biggest butt. So, and, and we're always at each other and, and tearing each other down. It's not building each other up. Listen, listen, God wants you to, to know who you are. And, it, and, and you know what's on the inside of you. You won't be worried about what I have on the inside of me. Here's Elizabeth who was pregnant with John. John was the, he, he was, was going to make a way for Jesus. And here is Elizabeth pregnant with Jesus who was going to save the entire world. They both had something great on the inside of them. And it took what they both had to, 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 to develop one another, to help each other. Not be in comparison and say, look at her. She thinks she's something because she's so young. No, 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 no. What, what God was showing Mary as well is that, listen, your favor. Here you had Elizabeth, who the Bible says that her son, her husband, Zechariah, had been praying. Had been praying for his wife to get pregnant for a long time. Had been praying. Here's Mary, who, who never prayed not one time. She never prayed. Listen, listen, I want to declare by faith that, that God's going to give you things. God's going to bless you with things that you didn't even have to pray for. Things that you didn't even have to ask for. God's going to bless you with things. Mary not one time asked for this blessing, but God bless her anyhow. But here's, here's his Elizabeth who was pregnant and was with child, but she had been waiting and believing God for a long time. And, the, and, and Elizabeth, the Bible said, was an older woman. She was about in her 80s. And here she was, so it, it, was a, it was a mighty miracle for her to be pregnant with a child. But what God was trying to say, listen, Mary's not going to take that long with you. I'm favored. Listen, you're favored. Listen, listen, God, God is saying, I'm doing a new thing in a, in a young girl. God says, I'm doing a new thing in you. It's not going to take as long. Listen, you're going to walk in an anointing that, that your mother never had. It's not going to take me as long to bless you. It's not going to take as long for, for you to have the opportunities that it took for your mother to have or for some of the older people to have. And listen, some of the older people, people don't get jealous of that. Listen, if it was not for the sacrifices, if it had not been for you the prayers that you sacrificed, the way you walked in faith, believe in God and continue to 
to pray and continue and continue to cry and believe God for things. Listen, then, then Mary would have never had an opportunity. Can we praise God for the sacrifices of other our mothers of the church, of our mothers and grandmothers? Can we praise God for the sacrifices they made, believing God, waiting so long for God's promise to come to pass? And here comes Mary, a virgin. You have to understand that when the Bible says virgin, I know we think of it in our text as somebody who's never had sex. But when the Bible speaks the word virgin, uh, it is basically saying that she was a young child, a young girl. Uh, in, in the Greek, that, 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 that word virgin, in Hebrew rather, that word virgin was, 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 was translated as young girl. So, so the fact that she was young was the emphasis of virgin. And that's what God is saying, that he's getting ready to do a new thing for, for in, in these young people. I believe that right now, that God's gonna, it's not going to take God as long because of the favor that you're walking in, that God's going to do a new thing in you. God's going to deposit new things in you. Listen, and, and it's up to you. Listen, and it's going to be up to some of the other sisters and mothers to help develop what God has deposited on the inside of you. Listen, what you have on the inside of you is not to destroy you. Listen, it, it it's helped to develop you. It's, it's, it's going to help you. What you have on the inside of each other, you need each other to help develop one another. But you have to know that and you have to understand how God's grace and favor works. Watch this in Ephesians, the second chapter, uh, the seventh verse. The Bible says, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace, which is favor, expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved. For it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's, watch this, handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God planned, he had a great plan a long time ago, and, and, and he gave it to us by favor. And the way that we're going to receive the blessing is by faith. The way that we're going to receive God's favor is by faith. What is favor again? Favor is the power that changes things for us. That's the favor that we have in our life. Favor is the power that changes things for us. But faith is the way that we get it. Faith is the way that God changes things for us. Faith is the way that God blesses us. God blesses us through faith. We have been saved by grace. How? Through faith. Faith is the way that God blesses us. The way that God deliver, delivers his blessing to us, watch this, is through faith. Faith, no matter the situation or the circumstance that's surrounding you, you have to know that the blessing is coming through faith. Right now in this time of turmoil, we'll, we're looking for favor, we're looking for peace, and we, we're looking for peace thinking that peace is the absence of problems. Peace is not the absence of problems. Peace is being able to have the peace, with, have peace with God, the peace of God, even in the midst of the problem. That means yeah. that God is with you because of the favor of God, that God is with you even in the storm. When you're going through the storm, God is with you even in the storm. So to so watch this, real favor means that you have safety in the storm, not always taking you out of the storm. You have to understand that. And so in order to find the favor that's working in your life, Find the favor that's surrounding you right now. Listen, but you're going to have to go through seasons. Go through seasons to find your favor. You have to go through seasons. And watch this. You have to get this. Uh, 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 Mary was from Nazareth, we said, right? You understand that, that Nazareth was a place that, uh, uh, that, that nobody would go visit. It was, it was, it was just some place. It wasn't a tourist attraction place. As a matter of fact, the, the, the Bible um, uh, says that the word natural, it means, it means branch. It means branch. And you have to understand that the branch of a tree is 
a, the, a very important part of the tree. The branch of the tree is, it maybe is not the root, it is not the root of the tree, but the branch is a very important part of the tree because the leaves grow from the branches of the tree. Watch this, the fruit come from the branches of the tree. So even though Nazareth may not be a, a, a very popular place, Nazareth is still an important place because Nazareth is the branch. You know how important the branch is? Listen, the branch is, is important. It's, the Bible says that when God destroyed the earth by water, watch this, when God destroyed the earth by water, it says that Noah sent out a raven. He sent out a raven in Genesis uh, to, to see if the water receded. receded. The, water, the raven came back with nothing. And the Bible says a week later, God sent out a dove. And watch this, when a dove came back, the second time, somebody shot the second time. The second when the time. dove came back the second time, the dove came back with an olive what? Branch in his mouth. Meaning that even though everything, when everything on the earth was destroyed, the only thing that survived the flood, the only thing that survived the storm was a branch. So listen, listen, even though, even though, even though a branch may not be a popular thing, because you never hear nobody talk about branches, but Jesus says that I am the branch, and he says that God is the husbandman. So he compared himself to a branch. Listen, listen, if you're from Nazareth, you're from a place that, that, that is not that popular, if you're feeling like you're from a place that's not that popular, listen, Jesus says that you're a branch. Like he's a branch, you're a branch, you're a branch. Somebody shout, I'm a branch. Listen, I'm important, I'm a branch. Listen, even though we understand that the roots cause things, cause the tree to be strong and you get all your nutrients from the roots, watch this though, Christina. Fruit don't grow on roots. Fruit don't grow on roots. Yes, yes, well, watch this. Where the fruit grow? On the branches. Watch this, watch this. Mary had favor from God. God picked Mary because she had what? favor with God. So even though even though she had favor, even though she had favor, along, like I told you earlier, along came, with that favor came being picked on, came being maligned, came being talked about, came saying, um, you cheated on your husband, um, you're this and you're that. I'm not going to say it because y'all going to say I'm too vulgar. I'm not going to say that. But watch this. But you know she heard it. She heard it. How you having a baby and you said you never been with a man? Listen, she got picked on. Listen, 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 listen. You know how folk do. You know how folk do right now. Listen, if you come from a place, you come from Nazareth, folk will talk about you if you don't have a lot of money. Listen, you can tell them, I may not have a lot of money now. Folk may pick on you when you broke. Listen, folk may pick on you because you don't have a man. Listen, listen, but you don't have to worry about that. Listen, God's about to turn your season around. Everybody's been picking on you. Listen, listen, listen. Before 2020 is over, y'all are going to be just like me. Y'all gonna be a branch. Listen, listen. God's gonna take you from being picked on to pick from. Listen, people are gonna pick from you because God's gonna turn that situation around. You're gonna have fruit. I declare fruit that's coming off your branches. Listen, before 2020 is over, God's gonna send fruit on your branches. Listen, and people are gonna go from picking on you, oh my God, to picking from you. Come on, getting blessings from you. Stop. The same ones that were talking about you are gonna be saying, look at what God did for them. Listen, listen, I need you to understand that your glory is going to be in the opposite position of your story. That God's going to turn your situation around. Do you believe, do you receive God's word today? That before 2020 is over, that God's going to turn your situation around. Come on, come on. I, I, I feel God's faith rising. Come on. God's going to turn the situation around. No one will ever fail with God. The King James Version said that nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is impossible with God. People are going to go from picking on you to picking from you. God's going to send so much fruit on your branches. Come on, come on. And you can believe in God for fruit even before this year is over. Even before we get to 2021. That God's going to God's gonna increase you with more fruit. God's going to increase you with more favor. God's going to increase you with more joy. More joy is growing off your branches. Come on, give God some praise. More fruit, more money. Hallelujah. I declare it by faith. But you have to go through this season like Mary did. Because God chose you. He chose you. He favored you. Not because of, it says, not of works. Isn't that what the word says, Linda? For by grace through faith, not of works, not, not because of anything Mary did. She didn't do anything to get this favor from God. 
She didn't do it. Listen, it's not because of what you do. God picked you because of the favor of God. God's favor is with you. You're walking in favor. And because his favor is with you, goodness and mercy are following you right now. God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. You're blessed right now. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the field. You're blessed coming in. You're blessed going out. God's favor is following you and you have to know how to find his favor in your life. You have to know how to find this favor. Find this favor when folk talking about you. Find this favor when everybody on your job talking about you. Yeah. Mary didn't pray. Listen, listen, listen. And I'm going to tell you something else. Uh, that even when you do pray, and prayer is powerful. Don't misunderstand me. Prayer is powerful. Prayer By prayer, that's how God communicates. That's how he gets his will done here on earth. His will in heaven is the way how he gets it done on earth. But listen, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that even when you get done praying, even when you get done praying, you still got to walk right back into that same job tomorrow with that same person that's been putting you through hell all 2020. You got to go right back to that same job tomorrow and face the same people and deal with the same thing. But as long as you know you're walking in favor, listen, even after you get through praying and fasting, you got to go back home to the same house where all the hell's been happening, where ain't no money in your bank. Listen, you got to go back to that same thing. Listen, but you, as long as you know that by faith that you're surrounded by God's favor, you have to know that it won't be long now where I'm going to start seeing some fruit on this branch. Listen, where I'm going to start seeing some fruit and not just some fruit, some big fruit. Is we have to know it by faith that we're walking in God's favor. Yes, yes, yes. Do you believe it? Yeah. Come on, somebody give God some praise in this place if you believe that, listen, that you're going to see some fruit even before this year is over. In the next six weeks, I declare by faith that God is turning things around for you. It's because of the favor of God. It's not because of anything you've done. Listen, it's listen, and it's not a good thing. It's not even a bad thing. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care if you have been divorced. God's favor is still with you. I don't care if you are pregnant right now and you're not married. God's favor is with you. I don't care if you don't have a man. God's favor is with you. You're walking in his favor. And you got to know it. You got to receive it by faith. The favor that you're walking in. Watch this. This woman that was bleeding for 12 long years, yes, she found favor by touching the hem of his garment. But it wasn't until after she bled for 12 long years. Woman, thou art loose. She wasn't loose until after she had been walking, bent over for how long? 18 years she had been walking, bent over, hurting and bent over, going through pain and agony, but yet God declared that woman, you are loose. I declare that everything, everybody that's going through any kind of problem, you've been going through any kind of pain, Listen, that God's favor is turning that situation around for you. You've been waiting 12 years. You've been waiting 18 years. But God says he's doing a new thing. He's turning that thing around right now. God's favor is about to turn that situation around. Woman, thou art loose. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Just because your brother threw you in a pit doesn't mean you're not on the right path to get to the palace. Because you're walking in favor. My God, Ruth had to lose a husband. That's so hard. But if she never lost that husband, she never would have got her boy ass. I know that don't preach good. I know it don't sound good. But I'm telling you, you have the favor of God. That listen, that the rest of your life is going to be the best of your life. That God's favor is still following you. His goodness and mercy are going to always follow you all the days of your life. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He's trying to steal your peace. He's trying to steal. But listen, God says he's giving you peace under pressure. Yeah. Listen, listen. Yeah. You're not, yeah. Yes, we're going under. So we're, in pre we're under pressure right now. Yes, the enemy has been attacked attacking our families. Yes, the enemy has been attacking our churches. Yes, the enemy has been attacking our nation. But God is giving us peace in the midst of pressure. He's giving us peace under pressure because that's the kind of God that, he, that we serve. Look at his word. In John the 16th chapter, 33rd verse, God says, in this world, you will have trouble. You're going to go 
going through some trouble. But he didn't say he didn't have favor. He says, but be of good cheer because you're walking in favor because I have overcome the world. Listen, you're going to go through some stuff. Some stuff's going to happen. He says, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. But look, 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 look where you find the peace. He says, what, look, look at the top of the verse. I just saw this. I have told you these things so that, watch this, look at that. In me, somebody shout in me. In me. In me you may have what? Peace. So the peace is not in everything going right in your life. That's right. The peace that you're looking for is not in your partner. The peace you're, not, you're looking for is not in, in the right place. Or in, no, no, no. The peace you're looking for is in God. You have to find your peace in God. It's in Jesus where we find our peace. Amen. I don't care how, how things, are, if things are going well for you right now. Listen, the Bible says in this world, you're going to have trouble. You're gonna, he, says, he says, but be of good cheer. He says, take heart. I've overcome this world. You're going to find peace even though you're going through pressure. You're going to find peace because I'm with you. God says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Even though the person you picked didn't win, God says, I'll never leave you or forsake you. Even the person that you did pick won, God says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. It's not in the person you pick, it's in who God picked. And he chose you because you have favor on your life. You are favored by God. You're walking. Somebody shout, I'm walking in favor. I'm walking in favor. I'm walking in favor. I'm walking in favor. Mary went through so much. We just see her glory that she was the carrier and delivered the Savior of the world. But it wasn't until she was encouraged by her cousin Elizabeth. And it wasn't until after she had gone through so much turmoil, so many storms, so many problems. See, I'm telling you, oftentimes your story is going to be at the opposite end of your glory. Mary is known for the favor that she found with God, but that favor didn't come without a price. And that's what I'm telling you. What you're going through does not negate the favor that God has on your life. And the only way that you're going to see it is by faith. You have to see it by faith. It takes faith. We are saved by grace. How? Through faith. Faith is how God blesses us. And, God, and, and I'm, I'm declaring by faith that you receive everything that God has for you. I don't care how much you've seen. I don't care how long you have waited. I talked about the woman with the issue of blood waiting. How long? 12 years. The woman who had the condition 18 years a couple of weeks ago I preached about remember Jacob helped me preach about the man who was lame and couldn't walk and he was in his condition anybody know how long he was in his condition 38 years but then he went straight then he God's favor came on his life and he took up his mat and walked away. Here you have John, because of the favor on his life, he's finding favor with God. Oh my God! Before he's even he walked, before he's even born, before he even learned how to walk, John's already leaping in his mother's womb. It's because God God had a plan for you. His favor was working on you before you were born, and His great plan that He has for your life is going to come to pass. He who began a good work in you is faithful to perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. If you believe God's word, if you receive God's word, come on, give him praise in his place. That God's not done with me yet. I'm not where I want to be. I'm not who I ought to be. But I believe that God is working on me and his favor is still with me. The way to reach our full potential that God has placed on the down down on the inside of us, we have to realize, realize that God chooses our weakest places to do his greatest work. Amen. Don't think that you're not walking in God's favor because you're in a bad place. God chooses our weakest places to do his greatest work. Amen. And we have to have full confidence in 
Christ that his plan is better than whatever we set our priorities on. I have confidence in God's plan over my priorities, over what I think is important. God has a better plan. I have confidence in God's plan, even if it's been 12 years, even if it's been 18 years, God's got a plan that he's working. It's working for my good. It's working for my good. Working for my good. Romans, the 28th chapter, the 28th verse, we we know it says, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him. Watch this. Verse 27. Go a verse but above that. It says, And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people. Watch this in accordance of the will of God. I mean, the Holy Spirit is already working in you. How did Mary conceive? It was through the Spirit. Knowing everything that she's going to go through, watch this. It says that the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God for your life. No matter what's happening, the Holy Spirit's already interceding with you. You have an advocate. You have a helper. That's how you find peace in the middle of a storm. That's how you have peace under pressure. It's because you have a helper. You have somebody there holding your hand to help you to go through what you're going through. You're never alone. The Holy Spirit is there with you. He's here. He's here with you, helping you. You don't have to go through what you're going through alone. The enemy's trying to trick us in this season of isolation. That you're all by yourself. You're never alone. Somebody shout, I'm not alone. I'm not alone. You're never alone. You don't have to go through this thing alone. The, 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 the Spirit is, is there with you. And it says, interceding in accordance with God's will for your life. The Holy Spirit is there working with you. Working everything. All the good things. All the bad things. All things. Not just all the good things. Not just all the bad things. Come here, Ruth, but even all the ugly things. All the ugly things. God takes all those things and he's working for our favor. That's the title of today's message. That now that I'm done, I guess I can tell you the title. <laughs> come on, somebody, come on, I want to declare this by faith that no matter, no matter what you're going through, that is working in your favor. Come on, somebody shout, it's working in my favor. It's working in your favor. It's working, listen, all the hell that's happening in your life is working in your favor. No matter what you're going through, no matter how they're treating you, no matter how they're talking about you, no matter when your friends and your, and your family turn their back on you, it's working in your favor. I declare by faith that whatever you're going through is working right now. It's working in your favor. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. And by faith, we know that it's working in my favor. Somebody shout favor! favor. Don't you leave here today. Don't you leave this live today and think that because whatever you're going through, that it's not going to end right. That God is not with you. He's not for you. If God is for you, then it's more than a whole world against you. Who can be against you? Whatever you're going through, I want you to look at somebody and preach to them. Look at somebody at home. If, if somebody else is in that room with you, if not, go find somebody and tell them it's working in your favor. You may not even know what the it is, but tell them it's working in your favor. Listen, listen, the fact that you're not working anymore is working in your favor. Listen, the fact that you're not married anymore is, is working in your favor. Listen, the, the fact that you just fell out with your boo is working in your favor. The fact that you got that bad doctor report is working in your favor. It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working in your favor. Yes, Lord. The Holy Spirit is right there. And he's working all things in your favor. God told his disciples that he had to leave. They, they couldn't get that. He says, so that the comforter will come. And the come your help is here right now. Somebody shout, my help is here. My help is here. And no matter how much, this has been a crazy year. I've been on this planet 
55 years, and I praise God for that. I praise God for that. I know I don't look like this, but I've been here 55 years. I cannot recall a year like this year, not one. I can't recall one. But even in that, I know that no matter all, no matter what has happened, that is working in my favor. And you have to know the same thing. That is working in your favor. It's working in your favor. It's working in your favor. I just heard, heard my mom shouting out. I praise God for my mom. Mom, I love you. I love you. I praise God for you. <laughs> Every time I see her, she encourages me. She's, she gives me strength to keep moving forward. Um, my mom, I, I think she shared her testimony. I know she has with you. Uh, publicly, I know with, with the um, church family and, uh, and has shared publicly what all she went through. Um, my, my mom, she went through a lot of stuff. She was a single mom. That's why you hear me preach a lot of time about single women and how God's favor is on single women. Because I know because I walk in the favor and mom had five of us. She has, she has five of us. <laughs> she has five kids. And, uh, and I just watch the favor on her life. And uh, it, but before she even got saved, I know, yes, I'm a preacher. And uh, my mom wasn't even saved. But, but because I was saved, I was able, able to pray for my mother. And I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. I prayed not only for days. I, I prayed not only for weeks. Uh, I, not only for months, but I prayed for years for my mom. And, and, and Lee, I'm going to tell you, son, it seems like the more I prayed, the worse things got. <laughs> mom, I don't know if I never told you that, but it seems like the more I prayed, the worse uh, uh, things got. And, and, and But that didn't keep me from praying for my mother. I remember one time um, uh, we got in the car, she got in the car, and the windshield wipers weren't working in the car. And I'm like, Mama, don't go, don't go out. It's raining, it's pouring cats and dogs out there. And uh, don't 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 go don't go out. And she said, no, I'm gonna I'm be alright. I'm gonna go. And so I really did believe that she wasn't gonna make it through this storm. And so I said, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go get in the car with her. She won't listen to me. She won't stay here with me. I'm gonna go get with her. And I got in that car with her. Rain, cats, and dog couldn't see anything. Mom, I don't even know if you, if you can recall that. But anyway, you had a brown uh, Impala. <laughs> and I got in that brown Impala. Couldn't see nothing. She just driving, driving, driving. I'm gonna tell you, I just thought that that was, that was it for the both of us. Got in that car, all of a sudden, boom, we hit a ditch. I was like, Lord, is that you? <laughs> thought I was in heaven, y'all. I thought that was it. <laughs> But the reason I, that we made it through that storm, listen, it wasn't because I was so good. It wasn't because God had planned the plan that God had for me to be a preacher. It was because God was with us. Listen, we still had the problem. We still fell in that pit. But God was with us. Listen, it was because God was with us that we made it out of that pit. It was because God was with us that we're still here today, that my mother got saved, that she's saved, and she's sanctified, she's spirit-filled, and she's living for God. And she's walking in divine favor today. It's because of the favor of God. God's favor was working. Even when the tire got turned over that ditch, God's favor was working. I don't care what you're going through. It's working in your favor. I'm not telling you something I heard about. I'm telling you something that we're experiencing right now. But the only way that you're going to receive it is if you get to take it by faith. Now faith. It's a sub sub substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that you cannot see with your natural eye. Faith is knowing and believing that God is who he says he is and that he will do what he says he will do. God's favor is working the same way that it was working for Mary. God favored you. I declare blessings and favor continue to follow you to the point that you even begin to see it working in your life. See it manifest in your life. I declare God's favor is manifesting in your life right now. God's favor is working. It's working no matter what you're going through, no matter how long you've been going through. I declare God's favor is working in your life. And for those of you who have uh, never had the opportunity to make Jesus the Lord of your life. Listen, you won't ever understand about this favor that I'm talking about. Where you begin to have peace under pressure. Have calm in the midst of crisis. It's not until you 
pray this prayer and say, Jesus, I thank you for forgiving me, dying for me. I believe you rose again for me because you love me so much. Come into my heart, come into my life for the rest of my life. I'll forever love and serve you and trust you. If you pray that prayer, listen, can we give God praise for and believe by faith that somebody has prayed that prayer, that you just gave your life to Christ, that you just rededicated your life to Christ? We want to welcome you in to walk in this divine favor that God has given us. Praise God. That even when it doesn't make sense, when it, whatever situation you're facing doesn't make sense, you've been waiting for so long, you can't help compare yourself to uh, the Elizabeths and the Marys that seem like they're being blessed. Listen, God has a blessing with your name on it. But you have to take it by faith today. God loves you. And I speak blessings and favor that they grow and be multiplied. And it happens by faith. Come on, I declare blessings. I started off this morning and I declare that God's favor be upon you. And I declare it once more that you see God's favor, that God's favor be upon you. That it manifests in your life before 2020 is over. That God's situation turn around in your life. That you will go from being broke to being blessed. That you will go from weeping to, 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 to walking in joy. I declare that, that God is turning that situation around in your life. That you'll go from being lonely to being surrounded with love and peace and joy and God's favor. Do you receive it? Receive the favor of the Lord. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you with everything that God has placed in your heart. The every promise that God has even placed in your mind. That the Lord bless you. God blesses you. God blesses your children. God blesses your mother the way he blessed my mother. God blesses your cousins. God bless your brothers and your sisters. I declare that you're walking in the favor of the Lord. I declare that the favor of the Lord is upon you and your daughter and your son. I declare it by faith. Receive it in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God loves you.